Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the sulfate ion, SO4-2-. So here we go. Uh, we have sulfate ion, which is SO4-2-, uh, or minus 2, either way. Okay, and so that's going to give us uh, 6 valence from the sulfur plus uh, 4 times 6, val 6 valence for each oxygen plus two from the charge. So that's going to give us a total of 32 valence electrons. And if we do the trick or you subtract the largest multiple of eight, that's going to give you a minus 32, which is zero, and that's eight times four. So that means that this is going to be an AX4 um, shape. And, I'll, and we'll come back to that in a little bit. but. So that means that there's going to be four atoms attached to the center of sulfur, which is going to be the four oxygens, and there's not going to be any uh, lone pairs. So we have um, S, O, 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 O. We can go ahead and connect them with single bonds, and then go ahead and fill out the rest of the oxygens to give them all the octet. And if you notice, that this is going to give us 32 electrons. So let's go ahead and check the... Uh, the formal charge just to see if this is right and it's actually going to end up not being correct and, and we'll see why in a second. If you check the formal charge on the uh, sulfur it's going to give you six valence brought in minus one two three four bonds minus the zero un or non bonding electrons plus two. Right off the bat we see if you have a, a formal charge of plus two you don't really want that but we'll see where else it takes us. Formal charge of each oxygen since they're all the same setup, is six valence brought in minus uh, one bond for each minus six um, non-bonding electrons gives us a minus one for each one of those. So the sum is there's four of these, so uh, negative four plus two is negative two, which is correct, which matches there. But you don't really want a formal charge of plus two on on one of your on one of your atoms within the structure. So what we're going to do. And because sulfur, it being it in the uh, the third period, it has access to the uh, the d um, orbitals, not just s and p, but it, it has the d orbitals as well. So sulfur can actually hold six pairs of electrons, not or yeah, six pairs of electrons, not just four. So what we're going to do, we can move um, this two pair or this pair up here, two electrons, make a double bond, and down here, make these electrons double bond. So now sulfur has six bonds, not just four. So this is going to be our new structure, and we can go ahead and cross these formal charges out and recalculate them. So now we have the formal charge of uh, sulfur is six valence brought in, minus six bonds, minus zero unpaired, or non-bonding rather, and that gives you a formal charge of zero, which is much better. Now let's check the formal charge on the oxygens with the double bonds. That's going to give us um, six valence brought in for each one, minus two bonds for each, minus one, two, three, four non bonding for each, which is zero. So if these two oxygens have a formal charge of zero as well, as, along with the sulfur. And now let's check the formal charge on the oxygen that has a single bond. That's six valence brought in for each, minus one bond on each, minus one, two, three, four, five, six valence gives you a minus one formal charge on each. When you sum those up, it's minus one, minus one, and then zeros, which gives you a negative two overall formal charge. So that's that matches there, which is exactly what we're looking for. So the setup with the double bonds is what is what we need. Now, who's to say that we couldn't have chosen these two as the, uh, the two oxygens to have the double bonds? So we could do that as well. So you could draw a resonance structure Sulfur, oxygen, 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 oh, oh, oh. So let's go ahead and do this, these ones here. So notice that the formal charge is going to be the same because we just switched which oxygen have the double bonds and which have the single bonds. So overall, the formal charge is the same, same structure, just a resonance structure because it's different sets of oxygens. So overall, these are your, your, your Lewis dot structures. And we can go ahead and look now back at the, uh, the AX4, the shape. That means it's going to be a tetrahedral shape. And 
um, because each of the um, bonding atoms is the same, that means that this is going to be a, a non-polar molecule because the um, electronegativity for each each bonding atom is the same, so it's going to end up canceling each other out, giving you a net dipole moment of zero, which means nonpolar. And because it's a tetrahedral, the uh, bond angles are going to be approximately 109.5 degrees. And the hybridization of the S of the sulfur in the center, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites, four, four bonding um, atoms, so it's going to be a sp3 um, hybrid. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments, and thanks for watching.